Not so long ago, I got a hold of some pretty hard to get parts, mainly the Ryzen 9 5900X, the Asus ROG Chrysler 8 Dark Hero motherboard, the O11 Dynamic Mini by Leon Lee, and even the Corsair SF750 watt power supply. Especially with Mini ITX and small form factor builds become very popular as of lately. In the last several months, at least last time I checked, all of the above mentioned parts were either sold out everywhere or overpriced by resellers, amongst other obvious supply shortages like GPUs. This is currently my main PC for video editing, content creation, and gaming. The purpose of this video is really to document some gaming benchmarks, uh, sound tests, and thermals for comparison in an upcoming build where I'll be swapping out the AIO cooling here for a custom water loop with goals to further reduce noise levels and temperatures and see if I can get it to perform a little bit better and better aesthetics. All right, let's start with the build specs before jumping into the benchmarks. Feel free to pause the video if you need more time to read through. For the most part, I left everything on stock settings except enabling XMP for the RAM, putting it at the advertised 3600 MHz on my Trident Z Royals, and turning on Precision Boost for my 5900X. These are settings that anyone can replicate very quickly without spending a lot of time manually overclocking. Here I am still currently reusing my Founders Edition 2080 Ti from a previous build and have not upgraded to the new RTX 30 series for a couple reasons. This GPU has been running just fine for me in the few non-graphic intensive games, which I honestly don't even play much anymore, those being League of Legends, CSGO, and a few random games on Steam. Majority of my time spent in front of the computer nowadays has been purely video editing and content creation and when upgrading parts, putting my resources towards a new Ryzen 5000 CPU was a much better buy than getting a new GPU when looking at price to performance gaps from previous gen cards. Additionally, if I were to get a new graphics card, it would have to be an Nvidia GPU since AMD still does not have hardware acceleration in Adobe Premiere. So, Radeon graphics cards are not on my list of consideration at all purely because of work. As for the gaming benchmarks, I'll be testing a few modern titles in 1440 and 1080p. I will also be showing some temperatures and sound tests when fans are set to low and high speeds during idle, and my 4K video editing process which is basically 90% of what this PC is being used for. Let's take a look. These are the results of my 3 runs on Cinebench R23. I did some googling and found that there were people who have reported to achieve a score of over 21,000 on their stock 5900X for multi-core and over 1600 on their single core. Assuming those reports are true, then in comparison this means I am on the lower end of that silicon lottery. Moving on to video editing. Using one of my recent 4K projects here, Current settings takes just under 9 minutes to export an 8 minute video. Using a custom fan curve, while under load, my fans are running at roughly 1200 RPM, putting the CPU at 80 degrees C average and noise level of 55 decibels. 1200 RPM is about 50% of what the Corsair ML120 fans are rated to do, so I could ramp this up more if I wanted to further improve thermals during this process. Here's a quick sample sound comparison of my fan speeds at idle versus under load. And here's a few popular games used for benchmarking. I focused on 1440p since my monitors are all QHD and that is the resolution I play on. But I also did 1080p since that is still the dominant and most common resolution for gaming. Quick notes, Shadow of the Tomb Raider is the only game here I have with and without ray tracing and DLSS on for extra data because I didn't see these options available for the other games. Resident Evil, the one game on this list I actually play, or am playing right now. For some reason, I could not get the game to work in 1080p, which is why you won't see that data here. Like, my screen would always go black and revert into 1440p, 
and would not even let me set 1080p despite letting me toggle through different resolutions. I'm not sure what was going on with the game or Steam after many troubleshooting attempts, so I had to let this one go and just put up the 1440p results. Alright, hopefully some of those numbers can give you an idea of how the system performs. There are other popular apps and games that I didn't benchmark this time around, either because I don't own them, use them, or built this PC for them. I've also been time crunching a couple projects lately due to schedule constraints, so these are the tests that I felt were most essential and sufficient. And in this video, as I mentioned, is for measuring the applications I actually use for work. If you have any questions about something I didn't cover, do feel free to comment and I'll do my best to answer or have that discussion down below with you, as I'm sure each person will have a different use case scenario. So ultimately, my plan with this machine is to put in custom water cooling and see if I can get the noise level and temperatures down as low as possible while having the fans run on as low of an RPM as possible, no matter the workload or activity. Okay, so that's all I have for this video. Please stay tuned for the uh, update on the build. It will be very exciting, assuming that I don't mess up, but I will also have a couple of new custom keyboard videos releasing prior to that. Look out for those as well. And as always, I really appreciate your time watching this and thumbs if you enjoyed this, subs if you want to see more. I will see you in the next. Peace.